What's up guys, this is DGFX or Nick and today I'm bringing you a new series called Compositing a Scene. This is basically a series of which you guys want. Um, I will be going over of how to construct a complicated scene with, the, with a bunch of 3D work, 2D work. Basically, take a scene, completely show you, break down every little effects, and yeah. So, each day I'll be going over a new effect. Um, and let's just show you guys first of what the scene looks like we'll be going over the next couple days. And here you go. Let's see? So guys, right there, as you see, it's not really too many effects going on right here, but it looks really, really good. Um, so first things right off the back you see, we'll be going over as 3D snow particles. Um, plexus, which is going to be going over today. Um, just how to animate Plexus, we're going to go over some color grading. Uh, this is optical flare, it's just a pretty good little 2D After Effects lesson, and that's what we're going over today. So if you don't know what Plexus is, Plexus is an actual an After Effects scripts. Um, you can buy it two hundred bucks, or I have a referral video in the back in the description of someone who can show you how to get it. And yeah, I'm not going over anything more about that. So basically, it's a really cool looking, look decent plugin. Um, a lot of COD editors been trying to use it. I know I've been getting a lot of uh, messages on Skype of to do a tutorial or how the hell to use it or does anyone know how to use it. So I'm just going to clear it up and do that today. So first thing you want to do is open up your After Effects. And we're going to get all this set up right here and there. Alright, here we go. So first thing first, save your project always do that just to get it set up now um, I have auto backup on so as soon as I save it once I'm pretty much don't save the rest of the time <laughs> and um, it's awesome so first thing you want to import your footage so double click in your which call it your project module and go all the way over to your footage you got some Call of Duty 4 1080p HD footage um, going over it and I probably have this available for download in the description if you need some footage to work with so first thing I want to do is, is just go over to where I wanted to start Turn live update on just live update live update back to real timeline alright don't worry about it Let's see, I'm gonna go about right there and then I want it to in Let's go a little bit more out. Alright, right. Right there. And I'm gonna trim the comp to work area. Now I have this right here. And I'm not gonna make it as long as my other one. Um so I've taken my footage right here. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter because I don't need a minute 45 second cinematic. First thing I'm gonna compos compose Composition settings, I want to turn that to zero. Um, another thing I forgot to do at the beginning, let me interpret footage main, and I'm going to turn this up to 60 frames per second. I'm going to move a little. I'm going to basically cut the whole thing in half, just making it 60 frames a second. B, let's see about right there. If you don't know two keys I'm using, um, B. So the beginning of the work area and in for the end of the work area. I'm sure I'm going to the work area. I'm going to go back to composition settings. We'll change that to 60. Change my start time code to zero. All right, now I still need to edit it a little bit more. Um, what you're going to do is, in fact, let me go back to composition settings. I'm going to name composition name. I'm going to change it to cinematic crossfire. Cine one all right awesome 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my stretch. It's 49 seconds right now, and I'm gonna make it. I only want it 10 seconds. So cool thing about using stretch is you can type in the distance you want. Um, I pretty much use stretch for every ed editing I do. I don't not use Twixter. Unless it's a really complicated scene. I need it. Yeah. Alright, don't worry about it. I know exactly what's wrong. There we go. A live update wasn't on and it was pissing me off. Alright. Here we go, we got our scene all nicely done. So now I'm gonna come there, go up to your composition in the project menu, and you can right click on it and new comp from selection. Go to composition settings, change name. Um, I'm just a really organization freak when it comes to editing. Make sure everything's nice so my guys can always find what I need. So I'm just gonna call this main comp. There we go. Let's save. All right, so now the first thing you wanna do is you got your footage and everything, it's all um, I don't really want to call it synced up, but it's all there. Why is it switching? There we go. Um, you got your footage and everything. Now the first thing to start off with Plexus is you need to track your scene. I'm going to be just basically showing you is how to use it with After Effects, After Effects CS6. I'm going to show you guys my way, which I think is possibly the easiest way. So I'm just going to follow me and I'll show you everything. So first thing you want to do is track your footage. Um, I'm just going to use the track camera, 3D ca tracker camera. It's a pretty good tracker for just 2D stuff. But I wouldn't recommend it for big 3D complicated scenes. You have to export into Cinema 4D and 3DS Max. Yet, if you're just doing a little simple element 3D scene or anything involving just After Effects, definitely recommend it. It's a good tracker. Um, that or the Foundry, which, I mean, the Foundry to me was just too confusing. 3D camera trackers are quick trackers that you can use and gets the job done to me. So we're gonna skip ahead for a second and come back to you when we're back to the scene. We have all of our camera points and everything. As you see, click on your layer. All you have to do is click on a point, right click, create null and camera. So every null you create will be a point that your plexus intercepts at. So Let's just come there. Let's remove this one. I really don't want a point there. I'm gonna do a pretty simple, basic. Um, let's do one coming from like tip of this. Great, no. Have another one. Maybe hit this building. Right about there. Let's only do four, and have have another one that hits about right there. And then another one that kind of like hits right there. So at least four. Kind of. Doom. 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 So that's just scene. So you have all your nulls. Uh, you can create as many nulls as you want. Um, it's not a problem. Just the more nulls you make, more points, more beams. She goes more work on your computer. So now you have all your, your nulls, camera. In cinematic let's just do a new solid let's name it plexus make comp size hit ok now what you can do is you can go to your effects and presets and search plexus and you're gonna put it down on you know, your layer and now <clears throat> next thing you're gonna do is go to add geometry you're gonna select layers and right here in your Plexus Layers object, you can switch the object type to 3D layers. Um, you now select layer type, nulls, or AV layers. You can select nulls. Now, you can go down to Plexus Point Renders. This is where all your little effects, I mean your, what you call it, your points will be loaded at and everything. So Plex Point Size, how big you want each one to be. And as you see, as I raise it up, you can see I'm just kind of booming across um, and then in fact let's go up one more time plexus layer subject one of the passes make it all the way a hundred I don't want to be able to see through my points and then we're gonna get color from layers we're gonna deselect that and we're gonna make them all white or you can get color from layers and when it says get color from layers it means this little source color code right there so we're gonna deselect that and put my own color 
Let's try, yeah, let's just do white. White looks the best, personally, in my opinion. So we don't need to do that right now. Go back to Plexus Point Renders. We're gonna make these about 10. Just for right now. As you see them right there. I mean, you can basically leave it right there, be done with it. There you go, you did plus some Plexus. Or if you wanna go further, expand into it and have little lines that connect to each dot, this is what we're gonna use right now. So go back to the Plexus toolkit up here, add a renderer, and do select beams. Now right then and there you should be able to see all your dots connected. And now you can start adjusting with those beams. So let's find a good spot where we can see both two points at once clearly. I don't think we really have that. Um, let's look right here, Plexus beam renderer, beams renderer. Um, let's just see some of our effects we have on here. We can do beam type objects only on axis. We can change the axis. Um, I haven't really changed it. So leave it back at Z. Time. This is how they each go to each other. So say if you want them to slowly go to each other, you can keyframe time right there. It's uh, let's say, let's say you want to start where they're like halfway meeting each other, and then go a little bit of time, then click hundred. And then you know preview that as you see as the video go it'll start climbing to each dot that looks pretty cool and a little bit lower you see that it's right there boom pretty cool so let's just get rid of that um let's just leave it at 100 um, I'm gonna show you a couple other little things. Cause, I mean, pretty much this is it. You got plexus. You connect to your beams and dots. Um, pretty much what we're gonna be using for this purposes. I will be making other tutorials on say how to import 3D objects and 3D objects, and then come there and make plexus geometry around it. So let's see. Let's. You see, you start thickness, thickness and in thickness. This is how you come there and make how big it is. So right there. So you start thickness will be where it starts at. So you can make it really bigger than normal. As you see, it goes down as a gradient. Then right there, comes around right there. I'm gonna just leave them the same size on both. Just give it a pretty good effect like that one yeah, right there that looks pretty cool now, I mean you can do tons of things um, if you want to make your say your nulls move and animate it so let's go to this null right here let's hit P think All right and Bring about right there. As you see, if you pre -re preview that, you will see your plexus point actually follows in with your null, actually moves, geometry, pretty cool. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you work with plexus, um, going basic points and beams. So yeah. That's pretty much it guys. Um this is day one of day one of compositing a complex scene or compositing a scene, something like that. Uh pretty much I'm gonna go with whatever I name it in the video, but this is day one of compositing a scene using Plexus. So next one we'll be going over how to light a scene. Not really light it, but um add in a bunch of automatically increasing numbers at Plexus points and stuff like that. Um, and then adding some 3D snow. And then we'll do a bunch of color grading and optical flares. And I'll be season one of compositing a scene. And then as I make new scenes, there'll be different seasons going over different effects. Just really giving you an inside view of a motion graphics visual effects artist, which I claim to be. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I'm be starting doing now. It's just doing a bunch of scenes like this. Um, me doing a lot of dual edits of editors. Like I did a try edit pretty much with frz i forgot the other guy's name and in me i did all the 3d work for obey kitty's episode and it was pretty good so 
Anyway, guys, remember, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, talk to you later, guys. This is DGFX. I'm out.